Hello everyone and welcome back to my Japanese prefecture tour here in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. I am here in the Beechcraft Stagger Wing by Carinado and we are going to be flying out of Kobe, flying over Osaka, uh, flying through Nara and then landing in Wakayama. Those are three prefectures. Well, we're starting in Hyogo, which is where Kobe is, and then Osaka Prefecture, then Nara Prefecture, and then Wakayama Prefecture. And so if we're taking a look at the map here, you can see we go up north uh, to this uh, location where the Bijan Hibashi tree pack adds uh, interesting location. And then we turn southward through Osaka, uh, down along Osaka Bay, and then we turn eastward towards Nara. Nara is where the other two custom markers on the eastern end are. Then we turn south again through Nara Prefecture, and then we go west to Wakayama, and then to South Wakayama to RJBD, which is an airport uh, in the uh, not as far south as we can get in Wakayama, but still uh, far enough. I didn't want to go too far away. The next time we're going to go to uh, Kyoto, which is uh, sort of over here-ish. But yeah, we're basically doubling back because I don't want to do Kyoto in the same video as we do Osaka. It deserves its own sort of thing. So we'll see that next time. So anyway, here we go. This is the Beechcraft Stagger Wing. And it is a bit gloomy out. We've got real world weather and everything. I decided to go with it. If it becomes too cumbersome and makes it hard for us to see the sights, then I'll change it. But for now, gloomy as it is, we'll go with it. So here we go. Okay, and we are off. Well, even in the gloom in front of us, we can sort of see the buildings in Osaka, but we're turning north first, back over Kobe. This uh, plane has a nice interior, but we'll pop on outside for a bit. Taking a look around. There's an Ikea over there. I don't know if I noted that last time. Kobe's looking good right now, uh, despite the gloom. Sort of gives it more atmospherics, if you will. Interesting sort of feel to it. Okay, so turning eastward. So this is the northern end of Osaka Bay. Osaka is over to the right, where the right wing is right now. In front of us is Nishinomiya. You can see some tall buildings there, but those are just generic buildings. Not special photogrammetry or anything. There'll be photogrammetry in Osaka thanks to some freeware scenery. Unfortunately, the Japan update did not actually give us scenery in Osaka, or much scenery in Osaka, so that was a bit of a shame. There's a lot of freeware scenery packs for the Osaka area, though and I can't put all of them in. One deals with the bay area, the harbor facilities, if you will. But putting that in while also putting the city center with all the tall buildings in is not doable for me. Uh, it uh, takes too much system resources and ends up lagging everything. So yes, the area we're flying over right now is Nishinomiya. And we're going to sort of deviate to the north to see that special spring tree location. As you can see on the map there. 
It's an interesting location nestled in the hills or mountains over there. Well, this right here is Osaka Airport. Well, uh, it is RJOO, I guess. There's uh, Kansai Airport that's for south that I think is a little bit better done. This RJOO is, I don't know, it's a little bit more generic, I think. Uh, this uh, photo scenery over here, the textures seem to indicate that this is probably supposed to be flatter than the mesh is going with. Yeah, there's no way those roads are like that, and those fields are like that, and those buildings are like that. If it's got rolling hills like this, so there's a mesh photo scenery mismatch there. Anyway, uh, we wanted to go over here. And you can sort of see a little alcove over there. I don't know what it's called, but that is a site that the Bijan Hibashi tree pack added some nice cherry blossoms, I suppose, to. So yes, maybe some hot springs here or something. Very scenic. I think there's some... I seem to recall seeing something like that on some Japanese show. Seems very familiar. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to see anything in this weather. <laughs> so, uh, live weather off. No, we can't do that anymore. It was getting worse and worse. We'll have some clouds. I'll even consider scattered clouds. How about that? But, uh, jeez. We're getting close to not being able to see at all. Okay, so we got some photogrammetry here. I see a sign there. So this this is already photogrammetry for Osaka. Again, this is freeware. And for freeware it's good, but there are some faults. There are some uh, stray polygons. We see some Z fighting on one of those buildings there. Some things could be cleared up. But yeah. But, you know. It was free, so. <laughs> you know, take it or leave it kind of thing. Alright, uh, we'll head over to Osaka Castle over there. You can already see it to the left. The river that uh, Osaka is on is called, I have to refresh my memory, Yoda, uh, Yodo, Yodo River. And the Yodo River goes all the way up to Kyoto, so if we follow it all the way up, we'd eventually hit Kyoto, but we're not going to do that this time. Osaka Castle uh, seems fairly well defended. <laughs> I mean, with, that's a serious moat there, uh, but uh, yeah, and we've got some nice trees here. We'll come back around to get another look at the city center and then head on. This is not the main river. The main river, the Yoda River, is over to the right there. It flows up. Uh, we could do with some bridge work. Very nice though. This sort of island in the river in the middle of the river thing reminds me of Paris somewhat. So yeah, that is Osaka. Huge. I think there is a stadium there. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, that's uh, Kyocera Dome. So, I mean, sort of venue here in Osaka. And taking a back look at the city. And I'll just head uh, eastward now, short of the waypoint. You can see basically it was going along the harbor, but we can basically see what's going on here. There's basically a mountain ridge between Osaka and Nara. We can sort of see the mountains there that we have to get through. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I might need to switch tanks here. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, tank switching! Something I really didn't want to have to deal with. But here we are! Alright. Almost lost power there, but we are back. We're guzzling fuel quite a lot because we're flying at low altitude and everything. It's a Yao Airport. Y-A-O. This area is called Yao. Yao City. Wouldn't necessarily have expected that, but we have a Yao here. So Nara, the city that we're head towards next, was the old capital city, and just briefly, really, before uh, Kyoto was built. And there's a temple called called Horyuji that was uh, built in the seventh century by a famous prince, Prince Shotoku. So. It's very old. I mean, for things in Japan, that's about as old as it gets. And that one, we should have that site properly represented, hopefully. Oh, sort of nice little pass we've got here. Oh, I think it's uh, that structure right there. Okay, so that is the temple. Horyuji. Passing right over it there. Alright. Uh, we're at the southern end of Nara, so we're headed north again. Backtracking a bit to get closer to the main parts of Nara. It's sort of nestled in the midst of uh, two mountain range. I guess we can call them ranges? Ridges? Ranges? You can see on the map there's uh, sort of a lighter green over here representing mountains and then over on that side there's more mountains. So Nara is sort of between them and Osaka on the opposite side of this ridge that we're flying very close to right now. Nara was a very square, laid-out city, and so I expect that we'll sort of see that, and it is to our right now. It's an interesting place for a capital. Uh, it's perhaps not as distinct as we might want it, but this is Nara right here. And it's sort of a squarish thing. Not a, not exactly a grid, but... It's got its sort of boundaries. Uh, I don't know, I don't think there are any sites represented here right now. And this is not photogrammetry, so... I think there was a mod for it. But... Once again, a high impact sort of mod, so... Since we're still relatively close to Osaka, it was impossible to add it in. 
Hotel, Nara City in Nara Prefecture. Just head on down this valley. Lots of little farms around here. I like these sort of patches of trees. <laughs> Bumps of trees around here. I don't know if that's exactly how it is, but there's sort of one hill over there. Yeah. Oh, there's some spring blossoms right there. Oh, that looks like a whole valley filled with stuff. This is basically like the source of the river that Wakayama is on. So we're headed down river from here. Well, I think the main river has a different name, so it is one of the tributaries into it. The main river is called the Kinokawa River. Kinokawa. And just trying to get a location on where we were. I think uh, Yoshino. Well, that big lake so sort of up there is uh, where Yoshino is. But I think the whole area is basically Yoshino with all the trees. Okay, so we're going down the river. And then the at the outlet is where Wakayama City is. And of course also Wakayama Prefecture. Oh, oh we have to switch tanks again? We have to switch tanks again. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, if it wants the tank switch, it wants the tank switch. But I don't know where the rest of our fuel is. You know, because uh, I, I loaded, I thought I loaded all the fuel into three tanks. But I think when we, I loaded the plane up, it decided to redistribute it and set it back to the normal default 50%. And so that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble because it instead of having three filled tanks, it has five tanks halfway. And so we have to keep switching between them. I think that's what's happened here. So I'll prepare uh, this tank. Because that means they're all like halfway filled. Which sucks. I wanted three full tanks. Then I wouldn't have to keep switching between them so often. Well, we're approaching a city called Katsuragi City. And that strikes me as familiar for some reason. a huge dot on the map though. A lot of these are also uh, last names though basically. So for instance we passed the Hashimoto city. Yeah. I don't think I know of that from any sort of show or anything but of course there are a lot of people named Hashimoto so. Okay, well, we can see Osaka Bay again after our sojourn in the midst of the mountains. And the river leading down to it, and at the river's mouth is Wakayama. So we'll dip down a little bit and take a look. Okay, so here we are, Wakayama. And I, I'm pretty sure the largest city in Wakayama Prefecture. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, compared to Osaka, it's uh, very, very sparse. Just a few places along the coast, really. There's a lot of green interior in Wakayama Prefecture. And this is the Kinokawa River again. 
that's a little bit redundant. Kawa is river, so it's Kino River. Uh, Kino Kawa, anyway. All right. Uh, I, there's no particular site here in Wakayama. We're just visiting it. Uh, so we're going to the nearest airport in Wakayama, which is RJBD down there. At least I did not find anything else. And I'm betting I'm gonna need to switch fuel tanks soon. We'll see. Well, we've got some wind turbines up here. I haven't seen too many of them around. Nope, and uh, another row of wind turbines coming up. Nothing too interesting to mention around here. Very scenic, though. That city on the coast in front of us is called Gobo. Up, oh, time for a switch. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Uh, that's desperation right there. Uh, okay. Well, you still got 26 gallons. That's probably 13 gallons in this tank and uh, 13 gallons in another tank. Not how I wanted it, but it's how I have it now. Uh, we'll probably be on this tank until landing. We are approaching RJBD. Well, oh, I say approaching, but uh, close enough. Okay, well, our airport is on the peninsula directly across the bay in front of us. So, uh, pop on in here and slow down. So this is the Nanki Shirahama Airport. Nanki Shirahama Airport. The town is Shirahama. Okay, well, can't quite see the airport, but gear down. There sure are a lot of trees there. Somewhere in there is an airport. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Now I've got an external moving map, so I know I'm pointed roughly towards it. Uh, oh, there's an airliner. Okay, well, we'll just follow that. <laughs> it looks like it's on top of the hill, so I'm really low. Yeah, I didn't check the altitude of the airport. Yeah, it's up there. That's why I can't see it. Okay, thank you, airliner. There we go. Wow, that airliner uh, made an interesting approach there. Okay. Okay, coming in. Here we go with the tail dragger hops. Okay, 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 we, we're, we're okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, oh, right. We oh, yeah, need to keep some. Otherwise, we're gonna stop completely. Uh, I probably missed any good taxiway. Uh, I'm just gonna turn off like a old biplane of yore here. I don't think we have good taxiways anyway. Gonna head over to those buildings. All right, Shirahama, everyone. So, with that, 
we will continue from this prefecture, Wakayama, in the next video and head on up to Kyoto and take a look at Lake Biwa and see how all that looks like. So as I taxi in for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.